New tonight, now how far would you go to look beautiful? Skin creams and shampoos can do wonders for your appearance, but at a hefty price. New bogus beauty products are saving consumers money while having a costly impact on their health. These high-priced skin serums may look identical, but they're not. Just ask Susan Morera. Within the one to two days of me using the same product that I had used for months, I broke out in a very bad rash. She said she found her product cheaper online, but it turned out to be counterfeit. No plastic around it, no label. Dr. Whitney Bow explains there may be serious consequences to buying skin products outside of authorized dealers. Counterfeit products have actually been shown to contain known carcinogens. Many of them have been shown to contain very high levels of bacteria. That's what happened to Morera. Here, Dr. Bow points out the subtle differences in unauthorized products. Seals and serial numbers are removed, and in this case, a product has been rewrapped. Robert Trow is the owner of a high-end skincare line and says his company takes specific measures to make sure customers know they're getting the real thing. We have to change our authorized seals periodically so that they can't be counterfeited. It has to be sold through an authorized agent. John Paul DeGioia is the founder of Paul Mitchell Hair Systems. He says hair products can be counterfeit as well and has this blunt message for consumers. If you ever see Paul Mitchell in any drugstore or supermarket, it is beyond any question of a doubt, either counterfeit or from the black gray market. And makeup is not immune from counterfeiters either. This is the real brush, this is the fake brush. A counterfeit makeup brush may not pose a serious risk, but Valerie Salambier, founder of Don'tBuyFakes.com, says fake cosmetics can also pose a big risk. Think about what you're doing. You're putting unregistered chemicals on your face. It's simple. If the cost is too good to be true, guess what? It's too good to be true. Experts say the bulk of counterfeit products are sold online and at flea markets, and they add to be familiar with what you're buying. Always inspect the packaging and contents.